Hi, glad you stopped by today at Gaga's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making wicked pimento cheese. And it'll be enough for, to share with people, so that's what we'd like to do. But first, we've got to make it. <laughs> so, I am going to um, grade my cheese today because that stuff you get in bags is just rubber almost. And um, cream cheese. And this is my pimentos. And it really is, it's um, roasted peppers, which is what um, red or green uh, pimentos are. But they you see the little black chunks in it, it's just from the roasting. So we'll have plenty of pimentos, but with a few black specks. So I'm gonna grade my cheese. We'll start doing that. And it, it goes pretty quickly. Well, that little, I just used that little piece because I had it handy. So now I'm going to start grating my cheese. I love Kobe cheese, so I, that's just what I stick with. I stick with what I know. And I, in fact, that's about the only kind of cheese I buy is Kobe. Well, I ended up uh, grading about five cups, and of course I have the uh, uh, cream cheese on the bottom. I used a half of a uh, block of cream cheese. Now I'm going to put mayonnaise in it, and it's half a cup, and another half a cup. <laughs> so right off, we're going to start with a cup and a half. I'm going to mix it with a mixer. You'll find that that makes it very creamy. Now I'm gonna put some pimento cheese in it. And remember our black dots are where it roasted because it is roasted pimento cheese. Now here's why we call it wicked. We're gonna put a half a teaspoon of Red pepper. I put one, two, three, four Texas Pete. And our new favorite is Sriracha. And for that, I'm going to put a tablespoon. Okay, now let's get it mixed. Well, that's a pretty good uh, mix. And also, this one is a little unusual too. It's pimento cheese is good with black pepper in it. Well, we're going to put a little bit of black, brown black pepper in it. That helps. Now remember, we call this Wicked Pimento Cheese. Now, right now, that's very creamy. Now, in the morning, when you get it out, you'll see that you will most likely have to add some more mayonnaise to it because it absorbs the mayonnaise overnight. And you'll probably only have to do that one time, but you probably will have to put a little bit more mayonnaise. Like I said, we're going to share it with two or three people. I'm going to get a pimento. <coughs> it's wicked. It sure is wicked. Oh, but it's so good. Well, that's all we've got for today is the pimento cheese. And I'm going to 
put in little containers and give it to a few people and then we're going to sit around the table and eat a little bit. So, see you soon and always remember the joy.